Hi there, school family. We hope you're doing good today. Um, I just wanted to come to you uh, to kind of talk to you about how the school year has wrapped up and uh, also to discuss some, uh, some things for next year that you might have some questions about. But I want to start by, by congratulating you, uh, commending you on how you just completed by far the most unique and unexpected school year in the history of Sefner Christian Academy. Uh, we were thrown curveballs like never before, but in typical uh, crusader fashion, uh, both you as a uh, household and uh, our faculty staff and administrative team, we all came together, we all rose to the occasion, and uh, everyone involved in our school family is to be commended. So uh, we thank you for your hard work, your dedication, we thank you for your prayers, your support, and your encouragement. And so uh, we, are, we are grateful that the Lord was faithful to bring us through. And uh, now it's uh, gonna begin to be summertime. We've started to see some things, thankfully, in our society as far as businesses opening up and uh, some people being able to go back to work and different types of restaurants and those kind of things that have been encouraging to us. And so we're, we're thankful for that. And we hope that trend continues. Uh, some of the things that we wanted to talk to you about, uh, the last week or so of school, uh, periodically as, as parents, family, students came by to drop things off, drop supplies off, check out for the year, there were questions about, hey, what's the plans for fall? And so uh, I, I, I wanted to clearly make sure that our school family knows we have every intention uh, of opening on the first day of school, August 12th, uh, on campus, brick and mortar. Uh, that is our entire focus. Uh, we, we're praying that that will continue to take place as far as the guidelines are concerned. Uh, our staff is uh, working and thinking and planning through many different scenarios. Um, but one question that we have continued to get is, um, you know, what if Hillsborough County makes a decision to not reconvene in-person education? Um, I, I realize our handbook talks about how we follow their protocol uh, when it comes to hurricanes and, and storms and things of that nature. Um, but in this case, we are not bound to the decisions they make uh, in regards to what's going to take place when school resumes. And, and one of the reasons that we're not is because uh, their situation is quite different than ours. A lot of times they have to make decisions about school closures based on their transportation challenges. Obviously, you know that the county uh, they run lots of buses, and those buses are used at multiple schools, and on and on we could go. So uh, we're able, we have the authority to make the decision on our own uh, to do what's best. Now saying that, um, if, if the governor makes an announcement, or if our county, when I say county, I mean our, our local officials, our mayor, and uh, our, our officials in Tampa make decisions about schools, that's a different matter. But if a county decision is made just by, uh, say, the superintendent, then we have, we have some leeway. Rest assured that our decisions will be with the health and safety and well-being at the very, very forefront of our entire school family. And so uh, we're asking you to join us in prayer that uh, God will give us wisdom, uh, that we will have uh, the, the plans in place, the different scenarios, We've been watching and participating in different uh, webinars and trainings through our accreditation agency, ACSI, uh, discussing with other heads of schools and school leadership teams of what the best way is to prepare for those things. But uh, those, are, those are the things that we are, are planning on doing. And so uh, we'll be coming to you uh, many, many more times throughout the summer. We wanna keep you absolutely up to date and involved in what's going on. And uh, we ask for you uh, continued prayers. I have, hope you have a blessed summer. And as things continue to open up, that you will uh, be able to get away and get some time and some vacation with your family. Lastly, I want to say this. I want to say that we need to be united as a school family uh, in prayer for our country. We need to be united in prayer uh, that God will bring the healing to our land that we need. And I, I'll say this and I'll close. The scripture talks about in the book of Revelation how John looked out across the masses that were standing 
uh, in, in heaven to praise the Lord. And he said, I saw them from every tribe, every creed, and every tongue. And so we love our school family. And we love those who that have been affected so harmfully through the incidents that have taken place in our country in the last week. And so we, uh, we ask for prayers and wisdom and humility and repentance. And we just give it to, over to the Lord and ask him to, to do what only he can do. So we love each and every one of you. And uh, we'll be in touch in the weeks to come to give you more updates as we move throughout the summer. I do want to say it was great to see uh, a lot of our athletes back on campus yesterday. We've missed seeing those faces. That gives us a little bit of a normalcy getting back into the groove. And then next week, our summer camp, summer day camp will start as well. So we're thankful for seeing progress in those areas. And we pray that God will continue to put a hedge around each and every one of us. We love you. Have a good day.